Hey, it's me, Aries 83 with another review for you guys. This time, I'm going to review Studio Series 86, Slug. Um, I do have to warn that <laughs> I may call him Slag, his old name. Uh, but um, according to Hasbro, it's Slug. And um, I'm going to go with that. They want him to be Slug because... Of the complications of slag being his name, then it's slug. I, I agree with them and their decision. I got this guy or these guys from CMD store uh, for $54.99. Last time I checked, he's up to $64.99. Get a $10 premium if you want him. Or you could buy the two pack of him and uh Stu and the uh, Studio Series Grind Door. Um, $54.99 seems to be a new normal, everybody. <laughs> so we'll start getting used to it. It's not going to be $49.99 anymore. Um, Slag is my favorite. He my favorite Dinobot as a kid was Snarl, the Stegosaurus. But then um, when I started to like look at his um, robot mode, robot mode for Snarl, it's kind of, I don't like how the tail like unfolds behind him and it forms like this U shape, which is kind of ugly. But I do like Snarl's little Dinobot head with the yellow with the blue eyes. So that's why I liked him as a kid, but. And uh, I like to shape. But as an adult, I've grown to love slag um, more. <laughs> because um, he's around the potato boy. Potatoes. Potatoes. He's nice and round and chunky. So, as an adult, I guess I'm kind of chunky too. So... <laughs> So I like him. I like him now more than I liked Snarl when I was a kid. Uh, he's more adorable than Grimlock to me. And uh, he's more relatable because he walks on all fours like a little doggo or a cat. If, you're, if you own a cat or a dog. I believe he's the second in command of the Dinobots. My camera and this lighting is acts really weird. If you looked at my Galvatron video, you could see he's not purple. He's kind of like a pink color. But he's second in command. Uh, and I... When I was writing down my notes, I thought he was the only other Dinobot to speak in the movie. But he's not. The other guys chime in. Every once in a while. Excuse me. <laughs> I could see Snarl. At, um, I could see Slug being like a... He likes eating a lot. And, <laughs> and farting. <laughs> I own the G1 version. I bought him at near Comic Con a few years ago. And I picked up various Power to Prime versions um, uh, from Family Dollar when they were clearing out the last wave of Power to Primes for eight ninety nine. Robot mode. So Slug is near perfect. Uh, I preferred the black head as opposed to the um, the black head from the Power to Primes version as opposed to the red head. As you can see, my yellow lights like drown out the face details on the red. So, um, but uh, the head sculpt is fine uh, with some customization. I could probably panel line and bring out some of the details. Maybe paint the face black or or the head. I I don't know. Uh, with the power of the primes version, I did want to like paste paint the face silver so it stands out 
But if I had to choose between redhead and uh, blackhead, I would I would go for a blackhead. Before I opened him, I watched various reviews uh, from other reviewers, and one of uh, one of the reviewers I don't remember who had some problems with these tabs here on his shoulders. They were they were broken and coming off. But on mine, they seem fine. His uh, tail connects snugly to his back. Sometimes it does c um, come off. But as you can see, there is a part here where it locks in. This gray part locks in and the tail does too. The wings kind of move a little bit. But they do stay in place because of the locking mechanism. I also like how the the small dino legs fold into the back of his legs in order to avoid hollowness. That is an awesome design. It's, it's great engineering. His knees are a little loose. Uh, even though they're ratcheted, they're kind of like loose into the next ratchet. See? And it does get in the way a little bit for the posability. But like most figures that I own and that I like, he can do what I call the pose. He's not going to move his arms so much so Daniel doesn't fall off. Uh, his hips are also in danger getting loose. Let me get Grimlock out of the way so you can see. Because... The inside of his legs have this little tab. And it relies on friction to keep it tight. It's not like a ratchet. And I think with time, it's going to wear out. And that'll be dangerous. The color scheme of the Dinobots has always been kind of boring to me. Um... Most of the time, they're mostly gray, entirely gray. I mean, all of them share the grayness and the gold. Like, they have a little bit of gold, a little bit of red, and a little bit of gray. But I feel like sometimes they need some details to make them pop. I guess maybe panel lining, or what I call silver and gold marking. Putting like put it, using silver marker for these vents, like panelining these lines on on his chest to make them stand out. But like right out of the box, most Dinobots have boring color color schemes, and it, it's that's their default color scheme, except for when Grimlock was green and black in Robots in Disguise uh, 2015. It's usually gold, red, and gray. The gun is ch is um not as chunk as Grimlock's gun. It's a cool gun design. The handle is a little small, but it does fit. But unlike, I think Grimlock's is also two pieces, but this one feels a little lighter and a little more hollow. You can tell it's like it's empty inside. But at least it's not hollow. But it does have a big old line down the middle. Grimlock's gun doesn't have that line. At least it's not so noticeable. I guess it's across the side here. It's a big chunky gun. Feels more chunk and more solid than this gun. Daniel, his other accessory is, I like him. He's pretty unique as opposed to Wheelie. The design for Wheelie I didn't like so much. Because Wheelie, he does have his classic head, his G1 head. 
but I don't know his chest is like kind of round round shape I don't like he does have this that he's like cut in the middle in a different color and he has his little legs his arm in the position of um, pulling back um, a laser string he has his little his little slingshot But he, compare it, comparing him to the Titans Return version, I like the Titans Return design a little better. The alt mode for that figure was garbage, but the the look in robot mode was better. This this is kind of he's kind of plain, even though his head is his head sculpt is cool. Daniel, on the other hand, um, his arms are in a dynamic position. He, he can rotate them up and down. And while his legs are still in the same position as um, wheelies, uh, I don't know. I, I just like the design better. And it looks like he can pose to be running if you wanted him to. You just got to angle him right. Which is way more difficult on the um, on wheelie to get him in that running pose. I usually... If I display him, he'll be like getting ready to take a shot from a, a kneeled position. Ta -da. But I don't know. I I really like the this. I really like this exosuit design. Uh, it's it's awesome. I like it. And he's pretty big because here I have the buzzwordy bumblebee spike. This is son. This this is father. This is son. But in my head canon, this is son and this is father. <laughs> Come on, Dad, let's go. Right with you, son. I I do like the gray of these parts which i was thinking of painting um this like gray to match the silver dome with the little the silver dome with the little line here it's pretty cool daniel's dome is made out of extra shiny plastic so it looks like it looks like glass like white glass as you can see the light so i like this i like this guy i'm i'm glad i got to <laughs> but father and son together again thanks dad you're welcome son give me a hug Aww. I really want an art articulated R.E.D. figure of this guy. Maybe with an interchangeable dome. But some blast effects and being and some rolling wheels, maybe. But the exosuit, it's an, uh, now that I look at it, it's an awesome design. <laughs> Grimlock's going to sit this one out. Alt mode. Um... My round potato boy, potatoes. I really, really like him. Uh, his his um, dinosaur mode is the mode that shines to me. It's the mode that I would probably display him in alongside Grimlock's dinosaur. But he's good, except for these hollow parts. 
in the back of the legs. Right off the bat, the head is perfection. I dislike the shape of the Power of the Primes version because he had like his pushed back, I think, I don't know what these are called, but he had these fins pushed back like they were aerodynamic, which was ugly. And uh, I didn't like the translucent plastic. I know it was toy accurate, but in the cartoons, they always had yellow heads with blue eyes. And those translucent heads, you can hardly tell any of the dino details on them. The, the blue eyes have a weird shape. They're not like really sunken in. I don't know if they're going for like um like a pupil in there or something. Let me, let me get closer. Closer. But yeah, um I don't know what's what's that. I think it's like the pupil, but I just see the blue from afar. I can see that um while the gold is acceptable. I could see him getting like a Generation Selects repaint where they replace the gold with yellow, like bright yellow, like a, um, like in the animation. Daniel can ride his shoulder. It looks like he's hopping off him that way. Um, and he can ride his back. I didn't know until looking at the instructions, I didn't know how to place him on his back. But there are these two um, pegs, long pegs that stick out. And you just slide these indents that his um, legs have into the, into the pegs. And then he sits there and he fits snugly. He's not going to fall off anytime soon. But at first I was just putting him on the back and letting gravity hold him there. The legs in this mode, in, um, in Triceratops mode, only uh, let him lift his leg for peeing action. <laughs> like, he's going to pee. <laughs> or, um, or squatting action. If you're a dog lover or a pet owner, you recognize these these actions. <laughs> Pooping and peeing. <laughs> or he could look like he's um, strongly stomping. The gun also fits snugly on the back, on the back of the tail. And he's in, in this alt mode. The mouth opens up. <laughs> Or excuse me action. Excuse me. And uh, you can also, he has a peg inside his throat for blast effects. He's drawing up black, beryllium baloney, blank. Slag no likey. Guilty or innocent. Final verdict. This is the figure that everyone wanted. When Power the Primes came out, people wanted their Dinobots larger. Larger. Embiggen. <laughs> to the point where a company uh, called Black Mamba upscaled them. There's not a lot of action to this action figure. Uh, he's a good display piece, especially in chonky potato dinosaur triceratops mode. He looks great next to Grimlock. And um, I'm sure when the other Dinobots come out, he'll, they're going to look great together. I can't wait for Swoop and Sludge. And then my old favorite, Snarl. <laughs> the price point is a little high, uh, but with more expensive pieces like these, the prices usually go up. Unless they surprisingly like Leader Class Optimus. Astro Train and Double Dealer show up at uh, closeout stores. But I, I would recommend getting Slug. He's great. $64.99. I, 
I mean, if you really want it, if you don't want to wait, then CMD store has your back. 54 is okay. It's a little, little higher. Uh, 49 is the, the, the price. I think the uh, pre-orders on Hasbro Post have them for 49. But as um, as we all know by now, prices on these guys are going up by a little bit or maybe by a lot. But I, I would recommend him. Uh, nonetheless, despite the price, he's great. I'm Aries 83 and I'll see you later, dinosaur carburetor. Bye. Excuse me. Daniel. Excuse me. Yeah, Beryllium baloney. <laughs>